All right, well, that guy over there just said he's calling the police, so you should probably get out of here. All right, my lot of this video doesn't come out. It's dark out. We're going on a mission to install the other rail. Um, I'll try my best to make this viewable, but it might just be too dark. We'll see how it goes. I got a carrot. What up? Welcome back to the channel. Quarantine. Let's do this shit. Okay, we're out here. I got my camera settings bumped all the way up. It's gonna look like crap. Hopefully you can see us. Kevin's lurking in the shadows. Whoa, holy shit. I stepped in a hole. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, Kevin's got a spot. We're gonna go check out this spot. If it looks good, we're gonna come back with the rail. And as you can see, we're walking. We're gonna the thing to... about this is that pe people do use this tennis court a lot, so it's like, but the lights don't turn on till 11 p.m. Mm. So like, if it's like, on a, on a lot of nights after 10, like you get that hour mm. in hopefully. Yeah, well, you know. When you try to, it, once people try to skate it while there are games of tennis going on, that's when, uh, that's when people are gonna get annoyed and then people are gonna talk and then it's gonna get taken out, but. Yeah, like I said, with this rail, whether it lasts two days, two weeks, two months, I don't really care. Like, a nice rail on a tennis court, that'd be awesome, you know? They're gonna rip it out of the ground, it's gone, whatever. It costs me nothing but time. That's what I don't under understand why. You say you don't care, but wouldn't you prefer it last? Well, it'd be nice if it lasts, but if I have my ex expectations are low, like it's only gonna last two days and I'm not gonna be upset when the rail's gone tomorrow, you know? All right, I just wanna film one front crook on it. One front crook. My worry is just like the size, you know, it's seven foot. I should've brought a tape measure because if the gap is too big, it might not work. All right, so undisclosed location. There's a gap between two tennis courts. This is probably so dark you can't see me at all. Maybe I could bump it up and post. So what do you think? All right, we got the cell phone light on the camera. It's giving us something. All right, let's see. Here's the gap. This spot here? Is it? The, is the gap the same all the way across? The problem is this. It's too Well, if you, if you put if you put the rail all the way down here, you're actually not really in this one tennis court. See the tennis court ends right there, so you kind of have a run up where you, someone could play and you're not interfering. I think this is the spot. It's pretty soft. I'm not, I'm actually, this might even be too short. I don't know, it's seven feet, so well, if anything we could put it kind of diagonal and it'll, it'll fit, I think it'll fit no matter what. There's no way this is too long to go straight. Yeah, you're right, it's going to be close. Could be eight feet. Oh, this is actually going to be a good rail. All right, well, let's let's head back to the car, get the rail, and yeah, this is, dude, this has got to be like eight or nine, eight to nine feet, maybe. All right, we think uh, we think the rail's gonna work. We're heading back to the car. We're gonna get the rail. We're gonna get the hammer. We're gonna drag it out here with the with the flashlight in my eyes. I can't see anywhere I'm going, so we'll jump back in when we get the rail over here. All right, all right. So last time the sound of hammering the rail kind of made me really nervous because it's like you could hear it. Mm -hmm. So we brought a piece of wood this time. So I'm gonna put the piece of wood between the, the rail and the hammer. So hopefully it's not quite as loud. There's a dude chilling in a car over there. I don't know if it's like security or something. It's I don't... not security. Dave's just trying to make the video more interesting. Yeah, dude, there's a car over there. I'll go fight him. I mean, you could fight him if you want. You're gonna <laughs> lose. <laughs> not that cool but we used to skate our own flat bar over this gap back in the day and then we left it behind the fence and uh one day it was gone whole cool story bro uh <laughs> grab grab the sledge that green sign rail and that two by six down there and then green. i'll i'll carry the rail green what this big long this, this big long uh s sign this yeah we hammer that in first to make the hole that makes the hole for the rail to go into. Oh, you pilot it? Yes, pilot hole. Oh shit. Free block. Here we go. Vlogging, carrying a rail. <laughs> Just filming? like episode two. You're filming? Yeah. And hit the rail that you put in the other day? Yeah. 
like coincidentally, like when I was there for five minutes, Nate pulled up yeah. on his bike. And then like we were like just seeing what was good with it, like kicking it. Yeah. And uh, it was super sturdy and Nate was like, wow, I was surprised. I thought it was gonna be loose and shitty because Dave did it. <laughs> so this is what's gonna go down here. It's gonna be like that scene in the Shawshank Redemption where we're hitting the hammer on the rail, the hammer in when the lightning strikes. It's basically, this is basically Shawshank Redemption right now. Did you ever see the family Get guy? busy grinding or get busy dying. All right, we're at, back at the location. We got the rail here. Kevin, take it. Let's see if it'll, if it'll fit in the gap. This is the big moment of truth right here. It all comes down to this. All we had to do was measure it, but we said fuck it. Slide it over. <laughs> oh, wow. Dude, look at that. Perfect. That is so good. Bro. Does it get better than that? All right, so we're I just gonna we put it all. I say we put it up a little bit because we have a choice. Because it's going downhill, yeah. So just gonna mark the holes, make sure the line is good. Then we're gonna hammer in the spike. So, yeah. Give an idea what it sounds like out here right now. <laughs> yep. All right, so now got the first hole. Little pilot hole set up right there. I'm gonna plop that in there. See so now we could line that hole up over here. Just give that a little smush, smush down there a little bit. Smush it down. Just a little bit. Uh, so come, look at, come look at the angle up top. That's good. Uh, uh, rotate it. Rotate it toward me a little bit. Yeah, that was. Yeah, pull it out. All right, we're gonna plop that guy right now. Is this in the hole down here? Yeah, it's just resting it, so you just leave it right there. Leave it, like, yeah. And then, here, hold this green pole here so I can get the hammer out. We got one end in, second pilot hole coming next. All right, pilot hole done. Okay. There's the hole there, yeah. Sit hole, get it in there. Okay, so that's in the pilot hole down there. Uh, that's in that pilot hole. So it's like, it's like resting like two inches in the ground. We just gotta hammer it all the way down to the, all the way down to the upright. Here, you, you take the camera and the light just for a minute, just to get a couple hammers on footage. But this would be pretty good right here. Stand next to it. Yes, it's good. That's good, right? Let's just skate it like this. We kill that light. That car that was yeah, the car I saw earlier is now over here. Oh, the, the yeah, 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 that car. Um, I, mean, I really think we're okay. I'll, you said it didn't matter. I mean, you know, let's just make sure. That car right there. It's probably hard to see in the camera. It's got, it's got like a stripe on it. I thought it's a car. I thought it was a security car. Let's just uh, see where they go. Yeah. I mean, if they come over here and park right there, are they checking us out? Maybe we should just fade off into the shadows a little bit, just so we're not like creepy silhouettes. Where are they going? Okay, we're clear. Alright, we're just gonna hammer this thing in real quick so you get it out of here quick. Looks like we got that same car again. Don't know if it's security. Oh, we're just gonna see what the hell's going on here.
squad. All right, well, that guy over there just said he's calling the police, so we should probably get out of here. Okay, well, it's dark as hell. There's a guy over there. Oh, I see him running into his house right now. He's calling the police. We should get the hell out of here. <laughs> Shit. What do you think that guy thinks we were doing? Whew. All right, well, smash that like button. <laughs> Subscribe. Hit the bell icon, subscribe for more content, Comment not like this. If you think that we got arrested. <laughs> yes. <We'll> post bail. <laughs> See you later.